Hi everyone, I just wanted to give a quick um, update on the SS Sniper situation and my thoughts on it. I know it's been a couple of months since all this uh, has happened, but I am just shocked that she has no decency whatsoever and she keeps uploading content. If YouTube wants to do anything right in 2024, get her off the platform. Make a statement, kick her off. What she did to Jack's films was not right, and that should never ever happen to anyone. For those unaware, doxing is what happened. As the sniper wolf basically doxed Jack and showed up in real life to his house and challenged him to come out there. My hope is that in 2024, YouTube starts listening to the users again because this whole year has just been really weird. We lost the dislike, but I believe in 2022 or late 2022 or late 2021, I believe. And now we have another ad apocalypse upon us again, for the most part. Some of you younger generation alpha might not know what that ad apocalypse was. It's basically when Google kind of put ads everywhere. They weren't as bad as they are now. The ads now are more invasive and more intrusive. And I believe that um, YouTube is basically trying to pressure everyone into buying YouTube Premium. And... I think that for the, for the vast majority of us, we do not want to pay for another subscription service. We have too many already. It feels like we're paying for cable all over again, when the whole point of streaming content was to get away from that. The ads right now are getting longer and longer in length. When you watch YouTube from a TV, you even notice it even more. I just think that we need to have a better balance of advertising on YouTube. I'd rather fill out surveys than deal with minute unskippable ads. I've gotten them before on the TV, on a smart TV specifically. But um, the point is, is the experience is just getting worse and worse with this platform and I I feel for all of you that are annoyed when an ad pops up on the videos that you're watching from me. I feel it too as I watch YouTube almost on a daily basis. But, um, unfortunately, I've had to sit there and take the unnecessary step of having to push, put ads in my videos too. I had to actually the first time ever make a darn channel trailer sort of a dealio inside videos I now make on my Atlanta Killer shows. Something which I didn't really want to do, but considering YouTube removed the channel's tab, I really had no choice. <sighs> because if you make content across 10 channels, you want them to be watched, obviously. So, <clears throat> going into... 2024, I expect that we'll see more AI videos, probably more content creators leaning on AI. I already lean on it on this channel to fill in the content gap when I can't react to stuff when I'm busy. So, as long as it's a tool that's used for good, then that's fine. But if we're faking stuff, like, I bet with, an, with AI, with how good it's getting, they're going to be able to create fake messages from world leaders and such soon enough that are really damn good and people are going to get fooled by them so watch out what you're watching and i do agree with youtube having content creators have to label videos that are ai creations i am behind that 100 percent. but hope you all have a good um holiday have a good Christmas. Have a good New Year's. Let's see if I can get some more reaction videos out before I have to go back for another long week of work. And I hope you all are doing great. Thanks for tuning in to MDVMIRL and have a nice day.